Hi, welcome to Game Creation, and today we're looking at the most powerful object when it comes to what we want to do this week. So if you're looking at doing anything responsive, if you're looking at caring about how people are viewing your game or application, you need the window control object. It is critical. Now, I'm really surprised Click Team haven't included this in the storyboard control, or the automatic storyboard control thing that you get with every... Um, um, application or game that you make uh, in the event editor um, but you, they don't so you need to include this um, it is in every single application I have ever made um, it is that important and the sad thing is that I, I think a lot of people don't realize it exists and try and do what we're going to do this week without it and it just you just can't do it if you find a way of doing everything I doing this week without it please let me know I'm always interested in that but without further ado, what we're going to do today is just talk um, through the aspects of it. And there are some gotchas with this. There are some things that I wish I'd known sooner about this object because it just makes it a lot easier. So we, we're going to go through this object from start to finish. Um, and then we're going to use it in the next video. Let's get started. So um, we're going to click into our application. Um, I'm going to run it just to remind us that We've made this half the size, or well, a quarter of the size, half the height, half the width, just so that we know that we can play around with it a bit easier. And I'm not having to constantly minimize it or stop it being maximized. Um, and all I want to do is double click anywhere on here. Yes, there's other ways of getting to it, but I just it's double click, it's so easy. And we're going to type in window control and double click on it and include it. Now, this is a uh, an invisible object just like the array if I put it here and run the application you're not going to see it okay it's never ever going to show up in your um, game it's there so that when you want to if I wanted to delete it if I wanted to go into the settings here I can do that's why it's shown there it's not shown there because it has any graphical element of your game or application Okay, so now that I've included this, I'm not actually going to do anything in the event editor in today's video because it's really important we understand what this object does. So if I click run, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig in here and I'm going to click on other objects and we're going to have a look and see what the window control object does. So window control there. Okay, so these first bits are where um, the window control object is. Um, well, that's it. No, these <laughs> these are the X and the Y positions of our window here. Okay, and the reason I got confused is because it's also got the X and the Y as separate. But anyway, um, and so if I drag it, there we go. So those seem to be the start up ones. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So if I scroll down, um, so this is where the um, window is the actual window itself on my desktop so if I move it up to the top left it should be zero odd missed that out missed out by a bit but it's essentially zero and if I move it down here it gets higher if I move it up to the top right then um, if I when I let go the X will be still quite high and the Y will be slow okay and same bottom right so the X will be very low and the Y will be very high now remember zero zero is at the top left uh, for pretty much everything in click team. I think everything. I don't think I've come across anything that does it differently. So zero zero is up here. So the Y gets higher the lower down you get. So if I keep going down, you see Y changing, Y getting bigger. Um, so that's what that does. Very, very useful. Um, so you can figure out kind of where to put the... And you can use this. You can say, I want it at the top left. And you can have it at the top left. Um, the width of the window. So let's have a look at that. So width of the window, very, very straightforward. Okay, it's just the width of the window. And I'll come back to that in a second. And the height of the window, obviously, it's just the height of the window. And then you get to this bit, client width. Well, hang on, that's the width there. But it's not the same number. Okay, if I try and get this a nice number, which I can never do. So the, it says the client width is 900. So that's the width there. It says that the width of the window is 916. 
Well, that's strange. So why is the client width 900, but the width of the window is 916? Now, some of you are probably screaming this out, okay? But if you don't know, client area is the area of the game itself. So it's the bit that's got the sand and the grass and everything. I keep doing that, I keep changing the color of it. But it's the bit you actually play. That's the client area. So the client width and the client height is of your game. But the width of the window is slightly more than that. There's eight pixels on the right and eight pixels on the left. So that's 16 in total. And the reason there's eight pixels on the right and left is there's an area where you can hover over to resize it. And that's counted in the width of the window. Now the be the easier way of showing it is with the height. So let's just readjust this slightly to make this nicer. Ooh. Okay, so the height of the client area, that's of our game, is 560 at the moment. Okay, But the height of the window is 599. So with a bit of maths, you'll work out that that's 39 pixels unaccounted for. Well, they're not unaccounted for. There's probably another six down here. And there's this kind of bar here. Now, if I added a menu, that would increase. Okay, So it includes this bit here, the header bit and this bit up here. That's all included in the height. So be really careful when you're using the width of the window and the height of the window because that's not your game. That includes all of this gubbins here. Okay, So the client width and the client height is normally what you want to access. That's the normal bit that you actually are interested in. All right. Um, the screen width is the actual width of the monitor that it's being viewed on, which I've said at the start of the video was 1920, and the height is 1080. The screen depth you don't need to worry about. It's essentially um, the um, amount of colors shown. So 32 is, is the maximum amount of colors you can have, I believe. And 32 doesn't mean 32 colors, it's just the code they use and it gets complicated. <laughs> and I'm not going to go into it in this video, but it's 32 bit color or whatever. It, I think it's like a all encompassing color or something. There's some code that correlates to. You can write a comment in the down in the description if you can uh, tell me what 32 actually means. Um, and the background color is basically if you go large, then um, 255, 255, 255 is white. Um, those are RGB, so red, green, blue. They're always between 0 and 255. Um, and every color ever is um, between those. Well, not every color ever, because 255 times 255 times 255 doesn't equal infinity. But every color on this monitor with a screen depth of 32 is between those. Anyway, that is a lot of guff. So the biggest takeaway is understanding that and you can see here that the uh, client width is actually including this border because this border here is being generated by the game. So I can actually influence that and that's what we're going to be doing this week is we're going to be filling this up with the game. So I can influence that, therefore it's included. But it's still, um, and you'll see if you have a look here, at the side bits there isn't that um, that kind of area on the side anymore. Um, so if you look at, or there is, sorry, there's still that area on the side. So I've enlarged it. It's 1920 across, that's the full monitor. But when I creep into the other monitor, which you can't see, there is kind of an extra kind of few pixels that help me resize it. So yeah, that is this object. Now, this object can be used um, to actually do stuff as well and to resize this window. So this object is all about everything outside of your game so the actual thing uh, the actual box it's being shown in and it is so so useful and we can't do this week's videos without it so please if you haven't used it before use these videos that we're going to be doing this week to really understand this object and understand actually how easy it is none of the videos we do uh, we're doing this week are really complicated they're all quite straightforward um, and I hope if if you've not used this object before, you'll get really confident with it by the end of the week. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.